Hi, this is Janet. Welcome. Welcome to the session. Uh, let me know if you can hear the sound. Okay, I'm not going to start because I'm using new speakers and a new phone and everything. So I'll wait for some of you to tell me it's clear. If not, I'll stop the video and start again because this is a very important topic. In fact, prepare a pen and paper. So let me know, please, in the comment section. If you're one of those people listening to me, can you hear me? Okay, if you can hear me, I'll continue. I've used these speakers before, so I'm nervous. Hey, Esther, can you hear me? Very nice. Daisy is like loud and clear. Very well, honey. Thank you so much. So we'll continue. Pen and paper, please. Please. Pen and paper. Today is Janet Rangi. Pen and paper. One of those videos we are going to write down points. Janet is here to write points. Happy Sabbath. All of you, I told you my church, we don't play. So you can see me, you know, my church, we don't play. We are up there when it comes to dressing, we don't play. You should see my heels today, okay? Thank you so much for coming. We are going to Canada and Janet is going to walk you through, okay? I have to walk you through. This is very important because many of you, you've listened to Janet Express Entry. And today I'm here to boost your points because we have to hit the points and I will tell you why. Esther and everyone, thank you so much for your... Okay, this video is a little bit early today. Please get a, a pen and paper. Okay, pen and paper, everyone. Present, loud and clear, I see your comments. I'm going to give you some ways to help you boost your express entry. And I know, I'm not answering your question, so don't, don't throw stones at me. One day I will, okay? I'm just overwhelmed. But Janet is here to improve your life. Okay, all right. Express entry, how to improve our points. How to improve our points in the express entry if you are new on this channel welcome welcome to janet rangi you have a lot of catching up to do but we have learned how to go to canada through the express entry and this is just to give you a heads up the attitude and the plan for the canadian government to be quite honest is to have immigrants go to their country does it mean everyone agrees with that policy maybe not but they strongly strongly support the immigration system okay so just know that Having said that, they have an aging population. The goal of them bringing immigrants is to improve their economy. They believe when immigrants come, they start more businesses. They participate in technology. Okay? They participate in healthcare. Otherwise, they will not have enough workers. And if you are watching me from Canada, thank you so much. Okay? So we have to think like that. So we are not saying that they are all welcoming you. That's why they have political people. Okay? There is... Those for and those against, but the position of the government, they look at the numbers and they say, mm -mm, these people are aging too fast. If we don't do something about this, we are not going to be competitive. So understand that is where Canadian, that's why they have a very good system compared to us here. Okay. Now, some of you have listened to me. And if you're new on this video, we are going to use the express entry. And since the borders are closed, Janet has been preparing you. So when they open us, we are ahead of the game. If you're new, that's why I said have a pen and paper, okay? So you're going to write down Express Entry Canada. You are going to write down IELTS. Someone type the word IELTS, the English exam, which we will do through the British Council website, okay? We are going to write down, okay, WES, World Education Services. That is where we are going to take our credential evaluation services. Uh, please, the seasoned people, Keep listening and help my people who are new on this page. Because you know what? Janet is informed and Janet knows that just by mentioning one word today, someone is going to look for the word express entry. They've never heard the word express entry. And guess what? They'll be in Canada. They will go and do their own research. So for, the, for those who are listening to Janet for a long time and now you've become experts on the topic, please don't judge others. Don't judge me. Don't judge others. We are, we are hearing this for the first time. And I love you so much for following, okay? Sylvia, Amy, everyone, I love you so much for following. Okay, now you wrote down those things. Some of you, you've done the IELTS. Some of you, you have already done credential evaluation. Some of you, you've already applied to Canadian colleges and universities. Some of you, you've already tried to get job offers. But Janet is here to tell us, let's put everything together. How are we going to improve our chances? 
And what is the whole world doing? Okay? Janet goes and reads, does research on Canada.ca, listens to videos and comes to present to her people how the whole world is surviving and I want this knowledge to be commonplace. What Janet is talking today, in five years, I want it to be commonplace. Commonplace in Kenya, commonplace in Uganda, commonplace in Tanzania, commonplace in Ghana, commonplace in Nigeria, commonplace in Zambia, in Malawi, in Sudan, in South Africa, in Botswana, okay, in Mali, in Senegal, if I forgot your country, in South Sudan, in Sudan, in Ethiopia, okay, I want this to be common knowledge. Just the way it's common, college, or, or, or common knowledge in other countries. That means we are not encouraging us to run away, but we are just matching the world. Okay? We are just matching the world. And when there's an opportunity, even us, we are matching in numbers. Okay? All right? That's all. Please, please, Janet is determined. You will come and go. Janet will never go. She will be here until this becomes common knowledge. Every young person in a college, in a university, who has a phone, smartphone, and technology, I want this to be common knowledge so that they have an option, so that it's a choice. It's a choice for, for them to come to America. It's a choice for them to, to go to Canada. And it's a choice for them to stay home. And if they stay home, what can they do differently to improve their lives? That's all Janet is saying. That's all Janet is saying, okay? So let me go straight to the point now. This is where you start writing. To, in order for you to improve your chances, of course, you have to be on the express entry profile. I'm going to skip the steps. If you've never listened to Janet, you better go and listen to previous videos. And by the way, she's going to start their videos all over again and give you the latest information. So this is not for today's video. This is for mostly once you understand what the express entry is. What can you do to improve your chances? and boost your points. Number one, when it comes to the languages, they have the English and the French. Today, I will talk about French. I mean, so IELTS. IELTS is English. Once you do that exam, you want to make sure you score CLB 9. Some of you interpreting CLB will be very difficult, okay? Because the English exam has four sections, okay? There is reading, there is speaking, there is writing, and there is listening. And you can score maybe a seven, a seven, a seven, a seven. But you need to understand how do they arrive to this general score called a CLB score. If your score comes to a nine and below, you're throwing away points. In these countries here, repeating an exam is not a minus, it's a plus. First of all, and that's why Janet does these knowledge things, because going on the internet does not mean you understand. Some public information you will never understand until you have people to interpret it for you who have lived it and experienced it. Maybe you come from a culture whereby if you fail an exam and you redo it, it's a bad thing. No! This culture here, if you do an exam and you don't do well, you can go and boost that exam and people will not frown they will be happy for you so you can always do that that is number one look at the languages okay how much did you score how good are you in english okay was this your first time to test is there a way you can test again do you have enough money okay now speaking of languages if you happen to know a second language which of course my people followers they are very smart many of them have two languages some of them speak English and they speak French. If your first language is English, but you can speak French, why not go and do the French exam too? You can also boost points, okay? By increasing the points by doing French, you're losing some points on the table. I'm just telling you the truth. And before we continue, can I, I forgot the introduction. This year, 2021, Canada was targeting, I think, 401, no, 401, thousand immigrants they will not be able to, to 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 get those because of the covid they are trying so hard and they are making sure or they are they are making use of those already in canada they are making use of international students they are making uh, use of those working in the hospitals on the front lines to fight the disease they are making uh, use of those already in canada on the front lines in technology and other 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 professions 
okay because of the travel restrictions and everything they are making use of people who are already in canada so they are not coming to the express entry and working on those who are outside what does that mean for us when the world opens when the world opens i want you janet rangi followers to be ahead of the game because now the world has opened they've already used the ones the strong people in canada so who is coming next of course janet rangi followers okay 2022 i think it's 411,000 okay they are targeting 411,000 immigrants to boost the economy the economy 2023 2023 that means we are here to stay don't say janice but i just had this information today maybe the chances are gone no 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 you are listening to the video at the right time 2023 421,000 immigrants. Those are their target numbers. And when they say that, they really try to meet those numbers. Because if they see the points are too high, they're not going to get those. They will just lower the points until they get the target numbers. That is what is happening now. In 2021, they are not able to meet the numbers. So they are making use of those who are already in Canada as students. Those who are work already in the provincial nominee programs. Those who are in the Atlantic uh, program, sorry, that's why I said you need to come with a pen and paper if you are a new follower on Janet Rank. That should have been my introduction. Okay? After those three years, they expect this to be 1% of the Canadian population. Because the population is what? Is aging. In as much as some people might not want immigrants, you cannot be a strong economic country if you do not have human resource. And Canada knows that. And the government knows that. Okay, and I've listened straight from the government. This is not necessary. Okay, I go and do my research. So number one, express entry, we want to make sure our points improve. Okay, and if we have a foreign language, we try and throw in there. Thank you so much. Oh, Winnie, Winnie Mwangi, thank you so much. I always love those who are like listening to Janet for the first time. Welcome. Okay, number two, how are we going to improve the express entry? Through doing a credential evaluation if you followed me wes is credential evaluation services right if they ask you to have education that is at least minimum three years from an approved school okay you can always improve that by having a second education okay these days i think six months but the school has to be approved you're losing points if you're just leaving there your diploma you are losing points if you are just leaving there your degree or your master's or your PhD. How about if you are enrolled in a six-month course? Okay? Go. By the way, these days, everything is virtual. Take advantage of virtual. Like, you can get a very sophisticated university or college in Canada and you register online. My friend, you have to be competitive. Me, I'm just here telling you. Some of these things are expensive. And that's why Janet tells you other ways. Who told you Janet doesn't come here and tell you other ways of going to Canada? I mean, Janet tells you always, I can tell you express entry, student visa, marriage, refugee, wherever, wherever, conferences, but that's not what we are covering today. I know some of you will be saying, Janet, but that's expensive. Janet knows it's expensive. Janet knows it's very, it's hard work. Okay. So what am I saying? Education. If they say three years, don't leave it there. Have a second qualification to increase your chances. Okay. All right. Number three. I want you to increase the work experience. Some of you are 35 and you're giving work experience for three years, surely. And you say, Janet, how are you? Janet is helping you how to fill the profile express entry. For those of you who are feeling express entry, remember Janet and what she's saying. Don't go just feeling haphazardly as if you know. No, you don't. That's why you do more research. And that's why Janet is here to give you more research. How about that? Thank you so much for coming, okay? Don't just go feeling there, and then by the time you finish, you've gotten 400 points instead of 600. Do you understand? Like, there are other things you can do to boost, okay? Work experience. Look at, again, pen and paper. What is your NOC code? My followers know what an NOC code is. They've gone to Canada.ca, they've identified their profession, and they know what the NOC code is, okay? What am I saying? The work experience, let's say, by the way, for you to f qualify, I think, for federal skilled worker, you have to be one year, work experience, full-time, more than 30 hours per week, paid, okay? And it has to be within, I think, the past three years, wherever it is. Now, some of you, you just leave one NOC code. What if you worked in another NOC code? I'm going to put in two, three NOC codes and get the maximum points. 
Are we on the same page? Are we on the same page? Okay? Don't go there and feel the a skeleton. Don't do an express entry that is a skeleton. Janet Rangi followers are going to put in an express entry profile that is full of beef. Am I, am I talking to someone? Please. Go and update your express entry. Improve the points. Don't use one as NOC code. If you worked in another NOC code, then mostly it has to be the skilled uh, professions. I think they fall under uh, skilled uh, A, B, and O. Okay, but that's too complex. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If you are following me for the first time, okay, please. If you are following me for the first time, take your time. Okay, I love you too. Take your time. You'll be there. Okay, we will be there, but Janice is going to help you slowly, slowly, slowly until one day you come to America or you go to Canada. Or you stay home. But this page is just a page of helping people to go to Canada and America. So that is my job. Okay, so it's not a cooking video. Okay, and I've seen some of you come on the comments. You think going to America or Canada is everything. No, please, if you like cooking, you go on a cooking video. Are you on the same page? Please. You go and look how they are frying their pancakes. And how they are frying their chicken. If you like drug bar, you go on the soccer channel. You not go to see drug bar and you find drug, drug bar showing people how to fry eggs. Okay? Will you tell, oh, drug bar, you think everyone likes soccer? Hmm? Drug bar, you think everyone likes soccer? Hmm? No, not everyone likes soccer. Okay? Or you go and, uh, and see Diamond playing music. Diamond, you think everyone likes music? Can you go and present people, people playing tennis? You think everyone likes music, please be smart. Janet Ranky followers are smart. This page is to help people to go to Canada, period, to go to America, period. End of story. We talk about scholarships, admissions, any way possible for us to improve ourselves through immigration, through going to a foreign country, okay? That is the reason this page exists. It does not say Africa is bad, Kenya is bad, Senegal is bad. Apana! Okay, welcome. If you've never met Janet Ragi, she's very entertaining sometimes, okay? Okay, I love you so much, and I love you, I love you. You know, sometimes I have to introduce myself to these new followers who are following Janet for the first time, and they come and think, thinking they know. No, you don't, my friend. You don't, okay? So, but we love you. Welcome so much. So, Janet here, her page is to help us to improve our lives. And if we don't like, we just go slowly and we watch soccer, uh, we go and watch dancing videos, music videos, business videos, okay? That's it. And I love you so much. Now, the other way to improve your CRS, uh, CSR score, okay, is to get a job offer. And Janet has made videos on how to get job offers. With the pandemic, it can be hard, okay? With the pandemic, it can be hard. But please know that it, that is one of the ways, and I'm not going to details. I've done a whole video on how to get job offers in, the, in, in Canada. And if you haven't watched, please go down here, you will see it. Okay, I did a detailed video on how to do it. When the pandemic comes, I mean, it, it ends, and the, the, the world opens, please take advantage of that video and watch and educate yourself, okay? Because these employers who are certified to get foreign workers, they can go through the Canadian Job Bank on Canada.ca and post jobs. And you can take advantage of that if you're in that skilled uh, uh, job profession that they want to make use of. Janet is just telling us how we need to, to think. Another way to improve is like when you go and fall, uh, fill the provincial, I mean the express entry. You want to choose that you want to be part of the provincial nominee program. Again, Janet has done how to go to Canada through the provincial nominee programs. And I understand some of us are still new and I will still do that. Okay. But that just gives you an avenue because provincial nominee programs, if they come to the express entry and they find that the express entry, that the cut point is 500, they might say, no, nah, us will take 400. So they will put it lower. Okay. And you just putting in the points for, for provincial nominee programs, okay, you score some points. Are we on the same page? And it's a very complex video, my friend. That's why I told you to get a pen and paper, okay, so that, you, you know, you don't miss. Provincial nominee programs, we've talked about Alberta, we've talked about Nova Scotia, Janet is mentioning the good ones. Ontario, okay, uh, Prince Edward Island, okay, those are potentially the good ones. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much, my friend, okay. All right. The other one that people don't think about. Let me tell you another one that people don't take, uh, think about. If you have relatives in Canada, if you have relatives in Canada, biological, you cannot fake. 
you cannot fake biological okay mother father uh, brother sisters i think it has to be close i'm not sure how they look at that but if you claim that you better have your marriage certificate ready okay you better have your birth certificate ready to prove you understand you better have the documents to show that that person is a permanent resident in canada you better have the documents to show that that pe a person is a citizen in canada you have to have evidence that actually that person lives in canada they can actually produce utility bills like water electricity tv wherever they ask you at the interview or whatever they ask you at the express entry so this is not just gonna you go and then you just check you check points oh but i have a brother and sister there or i have a cousin there and you don't and even some of the people you're choosing do not even qualify and then your points swell and then when they swell they invite you for permanent residency when you go there or they ask you for the paperwork you have nothing and if they find out that you lied now they ban you for life are we on the same page i'm talking to some of you who never thought about that please if you have relatives take advantage of that go and check okay go and put in that check go and check akini Aileen, i love you so much okay so make sure you check that one now another one which to me you can take advantage is for married people okay married people now if you are married your spouse if she's educated or she can go and go and do some english also the IELTS, it will give you extra points so investigate into that so if you're a married person and your wife can also go and boost points through us remember if your points go high this is a lifetime opportunity for the family so we are not necessarily counting money we are not necessarily counting risk we are not necessarily counting what if what if what if that's what the whole world is doing to to to, to get ahead and i know it's expensive for us but the express entry janet has to talk about it okay i just have to talk about it because i know that's one of the ways some people will go through okay and me i know when the world opens and they've already made use of the people who are already in canada us will be on the line us will be on the line so please consider if you are a married couple and anything that janet says here please go and do more research go and put in more time go and do more reading go and google go on youtube call friends follow people on the page that talk about the same things conclude make the conclusion yourself okay janet comes here and makes it sensitive comes here and tells you hey this is your sister okay your sister just like you who came from the same village like you me that's how i did it okay and janet comes here and tells you how she did it so that even you can do it isn't that nice okay we love technology i can't believe some of you are watching me all the way from all that okay genevieve genevieve thank you so much another one which janet says every day every day and she has taught her followers how to do it is to get a student visa first of all the advantages of getting a student visa right now even with covid you might be able to cross the border how about that like we are not even waiting until this country is open janet has been teaching you since last year and the year before how to go to canada as a student and how to get the good schools in canada that admit foreign students hasn't janet said that hasn't janet been teaching us okay so you know if you, you you start an express entry profile and you're also a student in canada it's a plus first of all during the pandemic you'll be able to go there but the most important listen to me the most important when you have canadian education they can give you a work permit after graduation with a maximum of three years me i like it because here in america they give opt for one year canada they give you a work permit for three years max if you go to school for one year they'll probably give you a work permit for one year who knows i think if you go for two they'll probably give you a work permit for three years but the whole point is okay you are going to get a work permit you are going to get a work permit okay what does that do for you work experience right work experience what does work experience do for you it attracts canadian employers to you isn't that right through provincial nominee programs isn't that right in fact to me i love that one and by the way at that time you're already in canada and then now even now that you're already in canada even probably now you don't even need the express entry are we on the same page like you know <laughs> all right me I, i'm just telling you whatever janet says here okay that is how those people you hear rumors at home that they're in canada that's how they went that is how they went my friends okay it's not it's not magic it's not magic okay it's not magic 
Just follow what Janet is saying. If you hear her saying one word, if you hear her saying one word, go and dig. Go and dig. I, I was just watching. I, no, I called a young man yesterday. He told me, Janet, uh, I have a, a, a new friend who, who just arrived from Kenya and went to the university that I went to. And she told me she was watching you until she came to the university yesterday. There is no single day Janet has given an example that is fake. Okay? No day. I'm telling you. Not even a single day. Do you understand? They're not even a single day. Work permits through students. And by the way, if you get a job offered, it can help. But some of us, it's going to be so hard. We are not lucky. You know, Canada has something called working holidays. But they don't give to some of us from African countries. Which is unfortunate. But us, we have to work with what we have. Because if, you, if those countries that have work holidays, they will just pack their things, go work in one, one year in Canada, boom, they come and then their express entry is easy. But for us, we have to take the hard route. But we still make it. Okay, we still make it. And just before, you know, you even think it's hard. Remember, we are working with real numbers that have been approved by the Canadian government. They are still working on 401 immigrants for 2021. 2022, they have a long way to go. They still have to process 411,000. We are talking of half a million humans they have to process. Okay? In 2023, they have a target number of 421,000 immigrants so that they can boost their population. They're even going into rural areas and starting programs for mun municipalities because they know most of you, when you start applying, you want to go to Ontario. You want to go to Toronto. You want to go to massive, big cities. And then the little towns miss out. So they are coming up with programs to even encourage you to go in those small programs, to go into those municipal country, counties. Okay? What an exciting time. How many of you are excited? I am excited. I am excited because we are living in times where most of us can be exposed to opportunity. Okay? There, there is, no, is it still hard for us because of the economy? Yes. Is it still hard for us because some of the doors are closed to us? Yes. But is this the best time we've had in a lifetime? I believe so. Okay, and I love you so much for following. So please remember the express entry is why I came here today, is to go to Canada through the express entry, understand what you have in your pockets, what kind of education you have, okay, your English abilities in reading, writing, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Make sure you register with the British Council to get to do the IELTS. Make sure you, you evaluate your education through credential evaluation services, world education services ways. Okay, make sure you put your paperwork together of work experience, diversify. That's the word I'm looking for. Diversify. Do not stick on one NOC code. Okay, if you're an engineer who said you never worked as a, another thing in the hospital, who knows? You must have done something different from engineer. Janice is just telling me the truth. You understand? If you see me lowering my, lowering my voice, there's something right there I'm saying. Okay? Anytime you see Janet whispering, that's the time to pay attention. Okay? Go and boost your scores in English. Okay? Go and boost your work experience. Okay? Boost your work experience through what? NOC code. And everything you put there, you better have evidence. Uh huh. The only way I can do this for people to understand sometimes is I whisper. And I'm just telling you, if you're new on this page, understand that Janet whispers a lot. Or sometimes. And when she whispers, that is the time you put your phone. You put your phone very close to your ear. Okay? Very close. You never want to miss anything that Janet whispers. Anything that Janet whispers. That is the word you focus. Focus. Raise a focus and you put in points. You don't have to put skeletons. Put skeletons on express entry. What kind of skeletons? You have to beef up things. Eh? And, and you'll see cause you have to be two or three. You understand? I mean, you've, you've worked in many places, right? I mean, your English, go and practice. Pay twice. This is not a, a place where they are judging people for failing exams. No, mm -mm. you just do it. And over and over, if you have some money, until you, 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 you achieve a higher CLB score, and the more you do, the more you pass. Do you understand? And no one is going to judge you. Uh -huh. If you have family members, make sure you put in there. Use your, your spouse if they can also evaluate the credentials. Put in there. Uh, provincial nominee program, like everything Janet is saying. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to see you from Uganda. 
I know. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm waiting to see all of you from Uganda. I saw so many of you on J1. Where's Bruce? Where Bruce? Where did you go? Yes. Hello, Janet. Long time. I'm green on this. How much is the cost of free entry, Canada, and requirements? This can be pricey. And I ch actually, they're going to increase the fees. How many of you have watched me for a long time? Lisa, I love you so much. Lisa Moyo, where are you from? Malawi. Moyo is usually a Malawian name. You know me. I, I, I went to school with Malawians and people from Zambia. Okay? You speak Chewa. Okay? Our registrar is from Malawi. Very good man. We loved him to, to death. Okay? How many of you have heard Janet saying you should never determine your future because of money? Me, I always say, if you put money first, you will never go anywhere. Because you will not afford most of these things. And I saw one of my followers writing in the comments, which had a, that person had a good point. Express entry is so expensive. Don't even think about it. No. Student visa is very, very expensive. Many of us are in America because we came as students. So how about that? Many of us are in Canada because of students. How about that, my friend? Please. Of course, if we change this, 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 these currencies of the dollar to ours, it's going to be very difficult. But if we look at it that way, we will never progress. Me, I came to America with $200 in my pocket, my friends. $200 in my pocket. And I just did not believe that anything is impossible. And even, I always tell people on these forums, because what I do is very difficult. Because if you come here and you can't cope, again, it's very difficult. But I always say, what do you have to lose? The people chase you home. Me, I'm telling you, I come here, it's hard for me. I just take the plane and go home. Who has chased you from home? But me, I know it will not be hard. You cannot come here and die on the streets. I mean, that will be foolish. True or false? And I tell you, if you come here and you go and meet people in your churches, you want to tell them your story and let them tell you how they did theirs and how they succeeded. Why does Janet do this? Because she knows we are unemployed. Mm -hmm. Yes, Janet, I like that. I don't ju judge my life based on expenses and money. We are coming, darling. Yes, Zamzam, I love you. It is what it is. You keep fearing. If you fear, you have no chance. If you take a chance, you work. You know, like, but I love you at home because you are not extravagant. Most of the money you have is going to be used in very, very important things. That one I could have said for us who are here because sometimes we have money and we spend on useless stuff. Okay, but there usually if we have money, we use it very well. But start thinking like that, like when you're saving money, the same way you save money for a car, you can save the, the, the money for Canada. I'm just saying, because Canada will buy you a car in one year, do you understand? I mean, you have to weigh the, the risks and benefits of every money. You have to calculate your money and know how to use your money. Personally, I'm not going to be in, in, in Nairobi and start saving for a car to join the traffic. Me, I'd rather use that money on express entry. Because I know if I use that money on express entry and it goes through and just not, not, not just express entry, conferences, uh, student visas, visiting visas, everything else. That will give me more money. We usually say what? More return for the money. I like listening to your... Hi, Janet, the age limits. No, but it's advantageous when you're young, but I don't see age limits. And I don't know which program you're talking about. I think express entry. The younger you are, the better. But that age of around 25 and 35, I think they get the most points. Or 35 and 45 have the most points because probably they just have more experience. Okay? Being young is always a plus in any society. Okay? We'll be honest. Okay? But there's nothing wrong with being age. Me, if Express Entry is locking me out because of age, then I'm going to go as a student. Do you understand? I'm going to go as a visitor and explore okay and see what other options i will get but today's video i hope you got some points on how to improve the express entry i'm looking at the comments and who is this hey janet student visa yes i've talked about student visa scroll down in this video by the way if you you feel lazy to scroll here it's janet rangi there's some videos in fact many videos on youtube janet rangi okay and then there's janetrangi.com me, I like JanetRangi.com because if Facebook shuts me down, we'll find ourselves on JanetRangi.com because the internet is free. 
Okay, we are not going nowhere. Okay, but my page has been here for, for so long. I have a visa already. How can how how can I do it? What kind of visa? Okay, it depends what kind of visa you have. Okay, uh huh. Any other questions? You know, it's hard for me to come and, and, and answer your questions. But the comment section is not just for Janet. Can one get a work permit for working more than twenty hours weekly? How do you get a work permit? Is the question. I getting a work permit as a student in Canada. I working as a, 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 a spouse of a student in Canada. Like there are so many ways. Or are you going there as a permanent resident? Uh huh. Okay. Wow. Someone applied as a primary teacher waiting. Oh, J1 visas. You forgot us. Okay. Thank you. That one. Okay. James, I see your comments. Let me write. How is Manitoba? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm writing there so you know I take this serious. Please do video. I know that is a real follow. I know I promise to do videos on J1. Please do video on J1. You forgot your followers. You forgot Janet Rangi followers. Point taken. Okay, that is a very good comment. Uh -huh. Okay, can someone get a scholarship and admission? At the same time, yes. Janet, you are looking good. Thank you. I have to dress for you. We are very sophisticated on this page. Did you know that? We are very sophisticated. Very sophisticated people. No, the 20 hours per week is a, is a, work, is a student permit. It, student permit already gives you... Uh, the, the, the ability to work. Good question. Good question. I, I think I know what that person is asking. Very good question. So if you go as a student in Canada, the same way you've heard Janet say you come as a student in the United States, just getting a student, F1 student visa gives you permission to work 20 hours per week in America. It's the same thing with Canada. 20 hours per week just by you being on a study permit in Canada and you being uh, on, in America on an F1 student visa. Okay? You cannot use that to boost your express entry. Fantastic question. Okay? Fantastic question. Okay, Janet, I got a job offer. Thanks for the deeds. Wow, Matthew, how are you? Wow, that I love that that one. That is like, I think if you get a job offer, you get like 600 points. And the job offer, they have to go through the labor certification, which is a process. You can't just get the job offer, but the job has to... The, the job that gives you, you have to go through a lengthy, lengthy process. That one, I'm telling you, the points are the biggest. If you get a job offer in Canada, you you game, game done. Congratulations. That person is like, thank you, Janet, for your leads. Uh-huh. Today, I didn't get an alert. What happened? I'm 33 minutes less. Steve is because I came too early. And I know many people will not watch. Usually if I come at the right time, people, many people watch my videos. If I come at the wrong time, the video will not go so far because this is algorithms. Facebook is a machine, so they know how to do their calculations. Usually if I come like 2, 3 o'clock my time, you know, you can see like almost 500 people are watching, 700. That translates to bigger numbers the next day. Like this one here will not translate into very big numbers. I can tell like 246, 300 people watching. Usually that's average and it's because I came at the wrong time because I'm busy. I have to go, I have to go to the gym after this and then I have to come and do a few things before I sleep, I have to accomplish things. So today I knew if I wait and do the video late, I'll not be able to accomplish these things. So that's why I did it early. But that's why you didn't get the notification, I think. It's not my regular time, don't get me wrong. Maybe, maybe not. I will come during the week and do a video for you on... Uh, WT, I mean, people that are coming on green cards to America, so you understand what is a W-2, you need to understand what is IRS, tax, taxes, because you need them for the embassy, I know that's a problem, and I'll also do a video on uh, selective service in the military, okay, because those are very strange terminologies if you've not been in America for so long, okay, all right, Someone says, thanks for the response, Janet. It's very helpful. It may ask, how can I change from student to others? Thank you so much. I'm glad, you know, you made sense. I know, I know that's what you meant. No, if you do 
this uh, work experience as a student it doesn't count in the express entry okay all right thank you guys for coming merci beaucoup shukran asante sana kwa heri i will see you in the next video unless i see very burning questions I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you will boost your express entry points. And we want to see, we want to see more uh, testimonials. More testimonials. Today's topic was very complex. Very complex like my clothes. Okay? But I will do a casual one next time. Okay? Alright. Muchas gracias. Kwaheri. Bye. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.